Okay, and uh, last up, we have Glenn Lund. Before moving to the United States, Glenn traveled the world producing many short films, a few documentaries, and two feature films in places like Southeast Asia, South America, and the Middle East. Last year, Glenn received a Student Academy Award for his Swedish-Iraqi production, Bekas, the feature version of which sold at Con just last month. This year, Glenn plans to start his own production company, which will bring Swedish content and talent to United States studios. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Glenn Lund and his project, Mr. Cool. Thank you, Shannon. Um, so Mr. Cool is an R-rated comedy about an alcoholic ice cream man who forces his impotent anal neighbor to steal illegal racehorse sperm. <laughs> so it happens really fast. Mr. Cool has serious money problems, and his first child is about to pop out any day. <laughs> and now they end up in a truck full of seamen and chased by the horse mafia. So let us back up for a second and look at this. Mr. Cool, AKA Vincent Bambino. Vincent loves beer, he's addicted to beer, and he's allergic to responsibility. A few months ago, or rather almost nine months ago, when his wife found out she was pregnant, she kicked him out of the house, and now he lives in the ice cream truck on the street outside. So every morning, Vincent wakes up with a really stiff hangover. Um, and the problem is that they installed a breathalyzer in his truck. So every morning, every day, he has, to, he's, he has a system set up to make his route. Kids trading blows into the breathalyzer mm -hmm. for ice cream. <laughs> so <laughs> this works out pretty well, except for Kurt. Kurt is watching him. Kurt is the perfect citizen. He's the leader of the neighborhood watch. He has a perfect house and beautiful wife, except he has a problem too. He can't get his dick up. <laughs> so now to resolve this, he's been trying, hiding, and getting, trying pumps, hiding porno magazines from his wife, who's very suspicious he has an affair, and it's almost throwing him out as well. Um, one day now, the, the horse mafia takes Vincent's truck and to make a delivery. And when Vincent, to be able to start it, forces Kurt with him to take it back, they don't realize when they get it back that it's, it has the cargo still inside. And the load, the, the load of the Duke, the most valuable racehorse in the whole United States, on the black market, it's worth at least 100K a pop. This would solve all his money problems, all Vincent's problems. But Kurt, of course, want to take it back. And Vincent knows a breeder who would buy this in Kentucky, where he want to go. So now the horse mafia sends their best two hitmen after them at the same time as they have a civil war going on in the truck, to a point where they lose everything. They crash, lose the cargo. And now they have really to come up with a solution to, to get something else to deliver. So the, the, the one solution is to go to a farm, they end up at a farm, and while Vincent is trying, the, old, the only horse they can find in this really old, scabby, impotent pony. Vincent is massaging its butt cheeks to make it work again, but <laughs> Kurt knows, he knows it, this, you can't make it work this way. And now Kurt's secret is revealed and Kurt falls together and gives up all hope. And now Vincent had to step forward, put his cards on the table and man up. His one fear is to become as useless of a father as his own dad was, and now he has to bring home the goods, they make the delivery, they run away from getting killed by the hitmen, by the horse mafia, uh, by the territorial ice cream man and a huge molested sheep, and <laughs> now it's time to go home to the real fear, their wives. <laughs> As they get home, Vincent gets home in time to when Melanie, his wife's water breaks, and he can sober, start his truck and take her to the hospital. And Kurt is home too. 
and his dick has never been harder. <laughs> Thanks. How, how big is a cargo of horse sperm? Um, it's like um, four this size tubes. From they one have, horse? They have it in a briefcase. Mm -hmm. And you have to load them. Um, they only stay fresh because you can't freeze them down for 48 hours. And you lost me for a moment when um, they were attempting to get sperm from the old horse. How did they get new sperm that they deliver? Actually, they got it from, they realized when they crashed the truck that the melted ice cream would be good enough to fill up the tubes with. Oh, so they, okay. Yeah, so okay. that's their solution. Right. I'm going to steal your question and ask how, um, what's your relationship with the writer and and how um, did you guys develop this? We met, she's here. Suni is here. Um, we met over another project, and we loved to work. I love her characters, and I love her writing. And we've been developing this as well as one other project for like a year. Working so, on the story together? And yeah. She had <laughs> written both of these before I met her, and I read it like a year ago. Were you influenced by Bullhead? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a <laughs> film that was nominated from Belgium okay. with a lot of um, <laughs> uh, hormones and stuff. <laughs> so, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are, there, um, are there actors you've thought about that would be right for this? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, it's, it's extremely cast dependent, the whole project. That's, and, and that's what I love. I love the characters and their relationship. So I think a lot about like Midnight Run when, when the, the feel and the tone of this project. And like for, um, for Vincent, uh, Zach Galifianakis or uh, Jason Siegel, I feel would be perfect. You need someone with a lot of heart. Uh, and for Kurt, uh, Will Ferrell or Steve Carell. How does Kirk get involved? I just, I, I might have missed um, that. He team. needs him to start the truck when he gets it back. They, they, they're, they're like enemies. They, they, they want each other to fail more than they want to succeed themselves. They're neighbors and they... But how do they come together on... He for, he, I didn't say, but they for, he forces him with a gun to go. Oh. With him to be able... He, and, and what in the experience uh, gave Kurt the ability to have his um, erection? What's what? Wait, didn't you say at the end that Kurt has the biggest erection? No, he's, he's ever... it, no, he's been too concerned with things. He lost his job a year back, and he never told his wife. And he's had all these problems stuck on top of his back for a long, 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 long time. And he's always been perfect his whole life. So that's what's caused it. Uh huh. So nothing about the horse sperm helps his problem. <laughs> no, no, no. He learns. He learns from Vincent. He learns how to. And how does he convince his wife he's still working without income? He's, he's leaving 6 a.m. every morning. But he and has no income. No, he, he's managed through some small investments to, to make it work still, but it's about to break. Well, what is happening up here? Is this a crash of the ice That's cream? one of the crashes, <laughs> yeah. Of the, it's, a lot, it's a lot of like um, chase running away with their little ice cream truck scenes because they have as soon as you get out of your own territory as an ice cream man and someone else is suspicious of you selling in, in not your territory it's it's really dangerous <laughs> if, uh, have you thought about whether is this a, is this a is this a sort of a big studio comedy or is this a is this a more independently minded it's, movie I mean, I, it's, it's extremely cast dependent. So if we can get big stars to want to play these roles, I hope we can make it for, to be with, a lot, with enough action to make it like $15, $20 million studio, to bring it to like to Rough House, to 21 Laps, to any of um, Gary Sanchez, the, the studio um, companies. But also, I mean, it would definitely work to make it independent. I saw, I saw a movie um, called uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil mm -hmm. last year that I completely loved. So that director, Eli Craig, would be perfect. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Glenn. Oh. Thank you. Thanks.